Birmingham history that they hate killed four little girls at 16th Street Baptist Church. Every year, the church marks the day with a service and ceremony. WVTM 13's Lisa Crane joins us live. That bombing reverberated around the country and the world, Lisa. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I'm across the street right now from 16th Street Baptist Church and I'm right in front of where they laid some wreaths today as part of that service. And this is right next to these beautiful sculptures depicting the four little girls killed in the bombing 59 years ago. At the service today, we met a woman who says it was by the grace of God she didn't die that day along with her friends. But this is very emotional for me because it's bringing back a lot of memories. This anniversary is very personal for Deborah Lyle Smith. Those four little girls killed in the church bombing decades ago were her friends. It doesn't seem like it's been 59 years ago. It seems like it just happened yesterday. She's one of the hundreds who attended today's remembrance ceremony at 16th Street Baptist Church, but she's one of only a few who actually lived through the horrifying details of that day. She's attended this church all her life and says on any other Sunday, she would have been here on that deadly morning. But on September 15, 1963, she and her sisters stayed home to bake a pie. We had all three had gone. I was in charge of keeping up with them. We all would have been in the bathroom at that hour that the bomb went off and I wouldn't be talking to you now. She says she believes God spared her for a reason, perhaps to make sure the next generations don't forget about her friends who died here. Being unified and being in unity as one, not black, not white, but as just humans and loving and genuinely caring about each other. Today's ceremony was about remembering the victims. Addie Mae, Denise, Carol and Cynthia, we honor your names. Honoring their sacrifice and acknowledging the importance of the act of hate that sparked change around the globe. And with God, I know a lot more will change if, as people open their hearts and see that it's a human race and not black and white, red, green. We're all a human and we're all God's children. Now the parsonage is right next to the church, only a couple of feet away, and today new life breathed into that more than 100 year old building. Church leaders actually cut the ribbon officially opening the Wallace A. Rayfield Museum in the newly renovated and restored building. It was more than a $2 million project, mostly funded through federal grants from the National Park Service and National Trust for Historic Preservation. Birmingham's Rayfield was only the second black architect in the country, and he designed the 16th Street Baptist Church. We are a small congregation, but we have been given this task, we believe by God, to maintain this church, to preserve this church, and to open this church up to the world. Now, Lisa McNair wasn't even born in 1963, but she is still closely linked to this tragedy. Her older sister, Denise, was one of the four young victims. She just published her first book titled, Dear Denise, Letters to the Sister I Never Knew. It's so odd to have a relative that would have been that close to you that I never saw, I never heard what she sounded like or anything like that. And um, that's just very odd. You know, it makes you wonder what it would have been like when you I was struggling with different things to maybe tell my sister that I couldn't tell my parents. Now we have more coverage for you available at WVTM13.com or on our free app. You can check out the Black History section where you can find a variety of stories highlighting the black community from women breaking barriers to important moments in history. And it is all free for all devices to download. Now, even though this is a very somber anniversary, the message here today was one of hope for the future, very uplifting. And Guy, I know you're gonna get dig deeper into the story tonight as well.